But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. How's it going, viewers? If you watched Seda Libre, um, this is the follow-up after. And it's activated when Franklin goes to Michael's house. We find out that Michael and Trevor with Mrs. Martine is in the trailer where Trevor lives. And they're hiding out there. And Trevor has a job he wants to do, which is steal military hardware. So, uh, naturally, Ron informs Trevor, and they go out to steal military hardware, but it's a very interesting way of doing things. This is called Minor Turbulence. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <clears throat> Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. Ah, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Hey man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. But... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a... On your way to the plane, if Trevor has low body armor, it's very easy to go to this place where you pick up body armor and then go back to the main part of the mission and drive Trevor over to where he can uh, get a plane and fly. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, 
I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. My stake in Oscar's thing ain't under the TV conglomerate umbrella. I want my own grand success. It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface, is gonna give that to me. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the radio. A lot of this is just flying around and waiting for the cargo plane to be available for Trevor to attack. And you talk with Ron, and he explains uh, how they're being monitored from Fort Zancudo. So you got to bring the plane in below the radar signature, and he keeps warning you. Thing is, once you see the plane and you fly low, you can then kind of just tail behind it at a very low altitude over the ocean. And, yeah, you'll be able to eventually get to the plane. Like I said, it's a lot of flying around, and you wind up, to be honest with you, um, I'm going to fast forward through to where Trevor attacks the cargo plane. If you stay out over the water, you can keep the plane low enough to where you won't be under the radar and ready for the next attack. Now I can bring the plane up to the right altitude and try and get in to attack the airplane. They'll shoot at you and really it's kind of hard if you're trying to avoid the shots. Don't bother. Just try and fly straight into the cargo bay and you should be able to just get in and then fight your way to the cockpit.
got a pilot on board. Come in, air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing in the... A lot of this is just Trevor trying to fly the plane back. And ultimately, he has to gain altitude in order for him to jump out. If you don't gain enough altitude for him to jump out, the plane crashes and Trevor dies. cool part is you're now over the Alamo Sea and you can eventually recover the wreck. I might do a video about that, but if you fly Trevor in correctly, you could just walk him back to his trailer and save the game. Otherwise, yeah, you're real close to the medical facility, etc. And you can take care of Trevor once he properly lands on the ground. Thank <laughs> you. 
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. And there you have it. If you found this video interesting, you can hit the thumbs up button. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.